All right, so to make our tin can roses, we're going to first of all need to cut the rim off here and off our tuna can using our tin snips. It's a little bit tricky. Put a little bit of welly into it. But you want to get rid of that so you won't be able to cut your can without it because it will hold it rigid. And then do the same with your tuna tin, which can be tricky as well. Right, now you've done that, that's the tough bit, there's the rims. And you want to cut these two cans down to to the similar size to this, maybe a little bit bigger. This is going to be the outer part of the rose. These are going to be just a tiny bit higher, I think. So scissors on this one. Just dig them in. Be fairly easy. And then with this one, you're going to have to use your tin snips. You cut down first. And this can be sharp, so be careful. Cutting around like this. I like to bend it up as I cut so it doesn't get catch on this hand. So I cut a bit and then bend it up. And then maybe go from that side. Okay, so here's our three bits of roses now. Right, we're going to cut six petals on each of these. So the way to do that is you cut down once, cut the opposite, kind of opposite, that was a bit of a funny half. And then you're going to divide it equally so that you end up with six petals. That's extremely not very equal at all. I wasn't concentrating. And then do the same, and you can use your scissors on this and your tin snips on your tuna can. Alright, now you've got these each divided into six parts, you're going to open them up a little bit, which means you need to press a little bit on the outside at the same time as bending out. This is the one that's not very even at all. There you go. If it's not going very well, just get a pair of pliers. Okay, and it'll soon be persuaded to bend for you. Okay, and do that with the other two. All right, now I can see this is the petals are far too long on this. We'll be trimming that off. So if we start with making the petals on our tuna tin, now roses, you want just a little smooth corner. Turn it over to the other side. And then I want a kind of a little dip in the middle, so turn it over to this side. And hopefully, and let's get rid of that sharp bit. That's the kind of shape that we're going to for, maybe a bit more roundy. That's and you want that for all of these petals. All right, so here's the outside petals of our rose. Now, we're going to do the next one in. So you can see that these petals are going to be longer, so I'm going to make them a bit shorter. So they're, well, a similar length to these, really. Um, and then I'm going to make the middle ones, which I'm going to cut with the scissors, even shorter again. Okay, so here's our petals, and they're going to fit inside each other. And you can bend them as you want at this stage. I'm going to have these sitting up a bit more. Maybe the tuna can one's laying down a bit more. And then this little perfect drinks can looks so cute. Oops, um, goes in the middle. So now we obviously need to um, paint it. So I'm going to spray paint this, but you could paint it. Um, I'm going to put mine outside so it needs to be weatherproof, but you could paint it with acrylic paints, so that's fine as well. Okay, obviously, um, if you're going to spray paint, you need to do it outside in a well-ventilated space. I do mine in a cardboard box because it um, protects the spray because it can get everywhere otherwise. And then leave that to dry. All right, so here's my rose all sprayed up. And now I'm going to drill two holes. Um, I'm going to put them on a piece of wood. Drill two holes through and thread some wire through to hold all these bits together. You could use glue, but I like to use wire because it means I have wire coming out the back so I can fasten it to something. 
All right, so I've drilled the holes through, right through to the other side. Now let me just get some wire. All right, so I thread them through. A little bit fiddly. Hopefully, that comes out the bottom. All right, and then I'm going to do it through the other way as well. So I've got a little loop on the top, like a stitch of wire. Bit of a fiddle, but doable. Okay, just pull that through. And then I've got wire at the back for fastening. I'm going to put mine on my garden fence. Right, now, I, all I'm going to do is now paint the middle. I'm going to paint over the wire so it will become invisible. And then we'll be done. I think this is going to need a couple of coats, isn't it? But I let this coat dry, and you can see the wire just pretty much disappears. I put a bit of a dollop glue there, even the hole disappears. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to let that dry and then put another coat on. I'm going to spray a bit of exterior varnish on that, and I'll do the back as well. And then I'm going to put that outside. Happy with that. Okay, there we are. It's finished now, ready to go outside. It's got the varnish on it. And I'm gonna fix that onto my fence outside. <laughs> 